Hello, I'm Saukki and today I'm driving a car. But don't worry, I'm also riding Velomobile. Because today let's find out how much slower the Velomobile is on my commute. Because during the summer I ride most of my commutes with the Velomobile. And my commute normally is 25 kilometers. So let's find out how much slower the Velomobile actually is. While the car can drive on the car lane, obviously, I have to go to cycle path with the Velomobile. The weather is quite hot at least by Finnish standards, so I don't have the racing hood on my velomobile because it would be too hot inside. With the racing hood I would be a bit faster. On cycle path there is these pointless curves and turns. Car can drive just straight, but car has to deal with the traffic lights. Well, now it seems that it's the holiday season and there is very little traffic today. During rush hour I would have to stop to every traffic lights, and on this route it could take up to 5 minutes longer than with this kind of traffic. After I manage the first curves on the bike path, I can ride with almost the same speed than the cars. Cars can use the roundabout, but on cycle path, I have to take this detour around the roundabout. And that's going to slow me down. But at this point the car is already far away from the Velomobile. Even though I have to stop the traffic lights with the car, the Velomobile can't catch the car anymore. If there would have been more traffic and more stops to traffic lights, then the Velomobile would have been as fast as the car here in the city. But now, when we go outside of the city, the car will be much faster. Here with the Velomobile I usually turn to right. It's a little bit longer route, but there's much less traffic. But now I have to ride the same route as car because of this test. Actually at this intersection I can ride the Velomobile at pretty much same speed than cars. But that doesn't help because on this next road cars can go up to 100 km per hour, while with the Velomobile I can go only about 50 km per hour. Then I have to deal with this small uphill. Obviously car doesn't have any problems here. Here in the village I can again keep up with the cars with my Velomobile. But driving a car is boring. You get much more attention when riding a Velomobile. Okay, let's go see the results. Okay, before we look at the results, please remember to subscribe to my channel. It's free. You can do it easily by clicking the subscription button below the video. And then also click that bell icon so you can get not notification every time I post a new video. And then also check out my web shop and buy this kind of awesome t-shirts and other kind of stuff. Okay, so car was much faster, that wasn't a surprise. It took 26 minutes for this about 24 kilometers commute. And the same distance with the Velomobile, it's almost the same road, well half of it is a cycle path, but the distance is almost the same. It took 36 minutes, so it was exactly 10 minutes slower. And I think that's not bad. This is pretty realistic results. I was driving kind of slow with the car, so normally I would be a little bit faster with this kind of traffic. I didn't have the racing hood on my Velomobile. With the racing hood I would have been a little bit faster, but usually I don't commute with full speed and I usually take the little bit longer road with less traffic. So if there is a lot of traffic slow in the car and if I use the racing hood on the Velomobile and take this shorter road, the time difference might be even less than 10 minutes. And that's a good reason to commute with the Velomobile. But I think that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.